you you are so you poured yourself into this so deeply i remember getting well i still have the entire text thread on my phone heaven help me if i ever lose this phone i'm i'm taking screenshots going back years pick from you being in england holding artifacts from the mallory and irvin expedition and you're like pollard you're never going to believe what i'm holding in my hand now like that's like so you weren't satisfied with just reading something as fact you had to go and hold it touch it be there that's going that that says a lot for what this book is it's very thorough what tell me a little bit about going to england and some of the things that you saw there because that's pretty cool this is stuff people would only dream about being able to do well well, the book has this whole um, preamble leading up to us getting to the mountain. And that preamble is you and, and you know, how you inspired me to mm. become obsessed with the story in the same way that you were. I, you know, it's, I corrupted it's like you apparently a, a contagious thing. <laughs> and, I, and I caught it from, from you. Um, looking here at the table of contents, there's a prologue, and then the book is broken into three parts. Part one is called Paths to Obsession, hmm. and it's five chapters, and that's the, that's the preamble. And that's the genesis of, of, of the story, and at least my involvement and immersion in it, um, but also the whole detective story because ultimately we were trying to solve a mystery and and so that's that's what the first third of of, of the book is about it's mm -hmm. about the research that I was doing all the digging um, and all of that being preparation for um, being on the mountain and yep. doing the best job that we could for this not to just be you know, kind of an academic exercise, but a real thing that could possibly, um, you know, have a um, change history, yeah, in, or change like the a, written history of something, a, a positive outcome, yeah. you know, and yeah. um, and so the historical narrative starts in the UK. And I've always loved the type of storytelling where the writer immerses themselves into the story. Mm -hmm. and, and there's no better way to do that than to just go personally to the location mm -hmm. of the most primary sources. And um, believe it or not, with all my travels, you know, and I've been obsessed with exploring the world and going as many places as I possibly could. I had never been to the UK 